Welcome back to the channel. I know uh, it's been a while since I put out a video. I'm, I've got a treat for you today. Wait till you guys check this out. What we got today is the 2018 Ram Power Wagon. So what we've got going on, thanks to my friends out at Benson, they lent me this truck to do this video. And this thing is amazing. So I stopped in there to inquire about the Gladiator pre-ordering, which hasn't started yet, by the way. But um, they had this on the lot and, uh, you know, curious about truck life. I asked them if I could take this for a couple days and do this review video on it. And they were willing to let me do that. So a big thank you to those guys for allowing me to do that. If you look at the inside of this truck, it's all decked out. It's got nice leather inserts, it says power wagon across the seats. We've got the Ram symbol on the headrest. This one has the 8.4 screen. It's got uh, the nice inlay and the power wagon has the nice inserts in here. Of course it says power wagon up across the top of the screen. It's really a fantastic truck. But you can see this has the leather and luxury group, which is a roughly $5,000 option as the uh, comes with the special seats, leather, nine Alpine speakers, subwoofer, CarPlay, Google Android Auto, the accent lighting, heated seats and steering, the uh, 402040 bench, the media hub with the two US USB auxiliaries, the overhead console with garage door, all that great stuff. So rather than reading all of this off, I'll show you guys this. This also has the convenience group with the high beam automatic, which are pretty nice. We were using those last night. The rain sensitive windshield wipers, the trifold tonneau cover, rear window defroster, sliding rear window, keyless entry, the uh, center high mount stop lamp with cargo view camera. I'll show you guys that. The black tubular side steps, again the 8.4, and this also has the adjustable memory pedals, the remote start, and uh, the RAM boxes, which we'll take a look at, and the LED bed lighting, uh, and the spray in bed liner. So let's start with the exterior of the truck. The power ram, as everybody knows, is geared towards off-road to going out on the trails. And it has, a, of course, the great power wagon sticker across the bed there and the ram boxes. We'll get into that in a second. But first, let's start with these Duratrac Goodyear tires. These are quite a big tire. This, again, on a 17-inch rim, these are 285 7017s. Um, this is a great, pretty aggressive tread pattern on these. The ramp, ram boxes, these are also fantastic. The great feature about these ram boxes is that they do lock with the doors. So nice feature that these have, the little inserts in here, but then you can also pop these out and you can pull the plugs for draining these. Say you put uh, ice or if you're washing them out and they get full of water, you can drain these out so it's not a concern. It does have these on both sides of the ram box. So over on the other side, you also have a drain plug in there too. It's a great feature. This particular power wagon did come with the tonneau cover. Again, it's got the uh, rear camera, down facing camera. And then it also has the camera up there for the cargo bay. And I'll show you that when we get inside of the power wagon. So inside the bed, this does have the spray liner bed for it. It does have the LED package back here. You can see on both sides. And you can turn that on and off with the push of a button. The bed of this truck looks like it's never hauled anything. So whoever picks this one up, it's gonna get themselves a, a very lightly used truck. It's a great deal. This has, has the step bar across the bottom here which is a great feature to climb in and out of this truck. It's a rather large truck. Of course, all power wagons are the 6.4 liter Hemi, which is actually the uh, same engine that is inside of the Challenger that I used to have, if you guys remember that. Now it's got a slightly different tuning. So the horsepower on that is different. It is not the same as the Challenger. It's geared more towards um, driving style of a truck. So you're gonna have Maybe a little less top-end horsepower, but you're gonna have all the grunt you can get out of this engine. And this is a fantastic engine. It does everything you need 
This truck has plenty of power for what it is. Uh, being as big as it is, it'll get up and go. You have no problems merging on the freeway or hauling anything. It's got great capacity. Of course, being a power wagon and having the off-road suspension that comes with a power wagon, it doesn't have as high as capacity as other heavy duty trucks have. Everybody who knows about the power wagon is familiar that it comes with a winch. So being a 2018, this does have the cable line on it. Got plenty of room back here. You have a light up top. You do have the pull down armrest, two cup holders in here. Again, this is a nice heavy duty leather. You have another two cup holders down here, the air vents here, and then there's also air vents that are underneath the seats. So for these seats, they actually fold up and then you have the uh, tray bar here, which you can fold out. So you have more storage here so you can slide bigger packages in and out of this if you wanted to put your seat up and do that. Nice feature is also this little LED light here. It gives you some added light at night in this section. I think that's a great little feature. So you can put that down. This also folds up and in this car, like I told you, it has the nine speaker Alpine with the subwoofer. This is where your subwoofer is stored. On the other side, there's actually a little storage space under there. One thing this truck is not short of, it's storage. There is tons of storage here. Talking about storage, you have additional storage under this floor mat that it comes with. So in here, you can see there's more storage down here to be used. This is a great spot and this has pull out buckets. So if you had something in there and you wanted to be able to clean it out, you could take that out and do that. Put that down in there. Uh, you have, again, this flaps behind the seats for storage. You have more storage on the door and down here on this door. Step inside and take a look at the options that this particular truck has. This is the uh, the armrest and it opens up. You have your coin slots in here and then the two USBs here that we talked about earlier. And this is a nice feature. Now being that this is a split bench seat, it does fold up and you have another seat so you can fit yet another passenger up front if you were really trying to squeeze people into this. Uh, you have two cup holders, a uh, third one right here, and then three up here. So this thing is loaded with cup holders. And then you have cup holders in the doors as well. So there's no shortage of that. Um, inside here for storage, you do have storage up top here. And then you have the storage down below as well. You notice that you have the uh, cluster gauges here and you have the hand controls on the back side of the steering wheel, just like all Chrysler FCA vehicles have. Down here you have the auto lights and then you can turn them manual if you'd like to do that. Uh, dimmer switches, you have the switches for windows up, windows down, mirror control. Your seat controls are on the side of the seat and then you have your center console. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. There's a lovely sound. You have a nice startup screen, it says Power Wagon across that. Uh, through your men menu, you can go through this and you have the, uh, obviously the MPG screen, you can track that while you're driving. Uh, trip A, and then there is the trailer tow section of the menu. And audio, so you can watch what's up on your audio. And then you can get to messages, if there's any messages, view those. And then do a screen setup. I'm not gonna get into the details of the screen setup. I usually like to leave it on the speedometer, the tire pressure, or through here you can get to some of the gauges and you can watch some of that, the trans temp for instance, oil temperature, oil life, the gauge summary. This is the one I like to keep an eye on, especially if you're doing anything aggressive, towing, something of, of that nature, you can watch that. So on the uh, screen for the, for the media here, you have, obviously this is on the navigation right now, so you can view map. It's got a nice little truck there on the picture. Uh, for the radio, it's got AM, FM, and the XM. You have your media connections in here. Again, this has got the auto climate, so you can 
actually set this for both driver's side, passenger side. They can set their temperatures, put it on auto, and it'll maintain that. Uh, the Uconnect apps in here, again, you have the travel link, right, you have your driver heated seat, driver vented seat, passenger heated and vented, uh, the projection manager, Wi-Fi hotspot, SOS assist, go services, user guide, app manager, then you have the backup cam and the cargo cam. So we talked about that earlier. Let me click on that real quick. So here's your backup camera. But then if you have something in the bed of the truck, you can click over to that. And right now you just see the top of the tonneau cover, but it actually has a camera for that as well. And I think that would be really handy if you're hauling things, if you have a load back there or for whatever you're getting into, that's a nice feature to have. This also has the auto dimming mirrors up top. You can see the auto dimming there. It has the assist and the SOS there. Then above that, you have the uh, garage door remotes. And then you have the switch for sliding the rear window open and closed. And then the switches for the sunroof up top. Some of the other great features on this particular truck are the hill descent, the trailer brake controller, you have the, again, heated seats, cooled seats, tow haul mode. You can turn off the traction control if you'd like. The heated steering wheel, and then the passenger rear, or the parking rear, parking front sensors, which come in real handy on a great big truck like this. You kind of lose some depth perception. It's hard to tell where that front corner is. So having those, those sensors there really pay off big time and they come in very handy. Now for all us off-roaders, a big feature of the power wagon that we all love are the axle locking so right now it's unlocked but you can lock the rear you can lock the front and the rear you can uh, disconnect the sway bar also which is a big feature for when you're going off-road doing research on the gladiator led me to looking at this truck the power wagon and the more and more i looked at it the more i started to really like the concept of it and everything that it could do we'll take you for a short drive and show you what driving in this feels like now this is a really big truck. If you're not used to driving trucks, it does take a little bit of time to get used to it and try and get used to the feel of the brakes, the way it turns, all those things before you go jumping off road and going crazy with it. So what we'll do here is we'll take a quick trip around so you guys can get a feel for this truck. So you'll see. It'll get up and go. It has no problem getting up to speed. And this being the 2018 does have the six speed transmission. It doesn't have the newer eight speed that'll be coming out on the 2019 power wagons. You can see we're going up a hill now and it's pulling up the hill without a problem. It drives really nice. So if you were buying this to go on any kind of long road trip, I think that it would be super comfortable. She gets up to speed without a problem. So one of the things I've noticed about this with those aggressive tires, and maybe some of you guys will be wondering as well, knowing that uh, we've had quite a bit of discussion about tire noise on the Moab versus the Rubicon. Well, these Dura, Duratrac tires are a more aggressive tire. I'd say they're close to being in line with the KM2s with their aggressiveness. And you can hear them. And if you guys can hear them in the video, the tire noise coming off of them. It does make some noise, but it's not bad. This is actually super quiet inside this truck. I didn't expect it to be as quiet as it is, so I was impressed with that. But there is some road noise from those tires nothing to lose sleep over being a motorhead as I am it needs an exhaust I really want to hear the 6.4 I know how good this 6.4 sound when it when I had it in my scat pack Challenger so I think it's just muffled too much in this particular truck and I'd like to hear it a little bit more I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hit that subscribe button if you would please smash that like I'd like to thank you guys for watching for participating leave some comments down below for us ask some questions i'll be glad to answer those again a big shout out to sponsoring us this time to benson 
in Greer, South Carolina. If you guys are interested in this truck, go ahead and hit them up on their website. See if you can pick this up before someone else picks it up. Uh, pick that name Quick Shifts because we're constantly shifting around what we're doing uh, and what vehicles we have. So stay tuned, join us again, subscribe, like this video, leave us some comments, ask us some questions, be glad to answer them. Thanks to everybody for subscribing who has already subscribed. Big thank you for that. We really appreciate the support you guys give us. And uh, we'll talk to you again.